When it comes to maths, Australia has been wooed by woo. That's Eddie Wu to you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> because his favourite maths teacher has written another book and he joins us now. Eddie, great to have you on the show again. This is the second book in your Magical Maths series. What's so magical about maths, do you think? Well, mathematics can allow us to do crazy and impossible things. The book is all about exploring, you know, how, for example, we can take the 16 really important digits to you, I assume, your credit card number, and have that copied all the way around the world every time you order something online, and yet we can keep it safe. That's all thanks to do with mathematics and cryptography. That seems pretty magical to me, and it can do a lot of other things as well besides. Eddie, the book has a bunch of activities for kids, but it also mentions snowflakes, lightning and lungs. What do these have to do with maths? Well, geometry, the mathematics of shapes, is one of my favourite bits of mathematics because a lot of people sort of experience it and enjoy it. Like, we can all stand in front of a beautiful piece of art um, or admire a beautiful wall and not necessarily know why we're admiring it or why there's, like, an aesthetic sense to it, but actually there are mathematical rules underneath all of those things and the book is about helping kids especially really practically explore that. Eddie, kids across the country had to adapt to online learning this year, but your YouTube channel means you're an old hand at this. Did other teachers ask you for tips? Well, an old hand in some ways, yes, in some ways, no. I mean, with the equipment and, you know, being able to speak at a camera, that hasn't been so hard, but it has been a totally different experience. Uh, not being in the classroom with the students around me, them sort of nodding along and saying, yeah, that makes sense, or like shaking their heads in confusion. And that feedback loop, you know, that sort of exhaustion we're all feeling doing everything over Skype and Zoom, um, this is something which, for me, has been new, and I can definitely relate to all of the parents out there who are struggling with their own kids trying to you know wrestle with online learning um it is really tough so anyone who is feeling like they're not doing a great job out there be kind to yourself we're all on the learning curve together it's funny you bring that up i do want to know how did the great eddie Wu go with homeschooling his own children <laughs> well, I think it's very important to recognise that I have a very different relationship to my students in the classroom <laughs> as I do to my uh, children at home. So, you know, I struggled along with every other parent out there. Um, I think it's something we all want to use to remind ourselves how much to appreciate our kids' teachers. Eddie, we have a question from a home viewer uh, tonight. Um, mathematically speaking, how many wines is too many while you're homeschooling? And that's from Carrie uh, Bickmore. Um, <laughs> Tell Carrie, I feel for her as well. I think so long as the sun is beginning to set, then I think it's, it's an OK time to um, consume a little bit to ease your nerves. But her answer is that the world is round and so it's always setting... <laughs> Correct, like... somewhere. <laughs> Touché. Eddie, uh, I must say, with my mathematical career, I, I enjoyed maths for a, a while and then I must say I fell out of love with it around grade five, six into year seven and then after that I just... I just never recovered. What, what would you say to parents whose kids have maybe, you know, fallen out of love or out of skill with maths? Uh, that's a very common experience, Pete. And, you know, sort of around that year six into seven spot is where I think mathematics teachers would have been introducing all the letters into the mix and a lot of people like algebra, that's where I just checked out. Um, so my advice, you know, based on that is that if you've got a, if you're a parent of a child who is really struggling with that point, maybe they're like 15, 16 years old, maybe they're staring down the HSC or the VCE, um, my best advice is actually to go back, find that spot where it did connect, even if that was a while ago and with the right support you can actually put the pieces back together and find a way back into this subject. It's part of why I created these books. Well, well, Eddie Wu's Magical Maths 2 uh, rhymes, which is good. Um, and there's the book. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's available now. Eddie, thanks very much for joining us. And I'll be taking that book well later. Oh, thanks, yeah, guys. Sorry. Thanks, I'll be just <laughs> taking that. Thanks, Eddie. See you guys. <laughs> Pete, you got some homework to do. Yeah, I've got to go back to long division. That's the, I think that was the point. Yeah. When division got a little bit too long for me. What about fractions? <laughs> Why make it longer? Fractions where, yeah, they're an issue. Yeah. Too much friction. <laughs> I know, I know, quarter, half, and three quarters. That's footy. I know six times tables. That's footy. AFL and cricket. Um, and cricket. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, four, right. five, six, oh, you know, you know all the numbers. I keep going. I keep going. Everyone.